everybody, it is me, Andrew, and this is going to be a walkthrough of the Magical Spell Cards Craft, Cast, Activate, and Empower by Lucy Cavendish. Sorry if my lighting is a little bit off. I'm actually in the bedroom because there's a lot of cooking, as you can hear, going on behind me. Some yummy food. So, um... So you might not be... Well, it's not that bad, actually. So, like I said, this is by Lucy Cavendish. It's published by Blue Angel Publishing. It is not available in the U.S. yet. You do have to order it from Blue Angel's website. So I actually don't even know when I... Um, when I got this deck because I haven't made a, I haven't made a unboxing video in quite a while. So the inside of the box is like a light purple. So it's really, really nice. It's really pretty. And the back of the box um, just says, These spells are sacred keys to effective casting and crafting. These spells are enchanted loving exercises, sacred prayers and action to guide, support, and activate your innate magical powers. The result can be a more authentic, prosperous, and blissful life. Respected witch and international best-selling author Lucy Cavendish has cast and crafted magical spells for over 30 years. Now, in this classic deck, she shares some of her most effective and trusted spells. This tried and tested collection will support you in attracting a soulmate, enhancing intuition, creating abundance, improving health, letting go gracefully, enjoying career success, holler, and manifesting loving friendships. Each spell is, a, is sacred, purposeful, harnessing the energy of love and light, always for the highest good of all and of our planet. Allow these life-changing spells to bring love and healing magic into your life, as well as the lives of those you love. It includes 45 magical spell cards and an in-depth, easy-to-understand guidebook on spellcasting, moon phases, magical correspondences, and fascinating background information for each spell. So I am super excited about it. When, um, first, I just wanted to be known, I do not identify as a witch at all. Um, I do not do spells. Not that I am against it, I just haven't really... Um, had a need, I guess, to, to, I have never felt the call to do it, but I'm actually really, um, I was really drawn to this particular deck, so, this is the guidebook, I mean, Blue Angel always has just amazing guidebooks, I'm not, I, you never, ever are disappointed, so the, here's a table of contents, so she goes into your guide to casting, there's a lot of really good stuff there, a spread of spells, So she gives you a um, a guide to the gods and goddesses that she uses. I see Lakshmi. I love Lakshmi. If you follow me on social media, you'll know that I actually just got a, a Lakshmi statue. Um, so she, she talks about like dragons, mermaids, centaurs, timing, chanting, moon phases, days of the week, essential oils. Like I mean, this is a bunch. Just a lot of colors, herbs, and plants. Like, I love correspondences. I, not that I do a lot of spell work, but I like to have references in case I want to use those oils, like, or those candles or something by themselves to just, like, light the candle and have an intention and just call it good. So basically what you get is you get a small representation of the card. You get the, sorry, you get the number of the card, the title, and then you get um, uh, the, the spell itself. So, you, well, you have a little bit of background information, and then you have the title of the spell, and then the spell. And these are all, they all look like they, well, this one starts on page, this one's a three-page for, so for abundance. And then you have prosperity, success, harmony. So that's pretty much the guidebook. It's really nothing, um too like crazy and hard to understand. So the backs of the cards, I actually did not notice this. And I don't know if it'll drive me crazy or not. But the backs of the cards are different. So these are the size of the cards. So you have this back, you have this back, this back, this back, and this back. And then they just kind of alternate like that. Which is kind of cool. So I just took these out of order, but um, I just, I'm not going to show you all of them because I want you to have a little bit of like surprise. So this is like card number 45. So it does have a small incantation on the card. So if you're on the go, or like when I put when I use these um, as my card of the day, you just say the little incantation and keep it moving. So dream sweet, sleep deep. Dream sweet, sleep deep. Sleep this deep and last till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. 
So, I mean, they're, they're really, you know, simple spells on the, on the actual cards. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Justice. By, by the power of three by three, Mott deliver justice to me. Oh, the goddess Mott, yes. I don't know why I didn't act like I, if I didn't know who that was. So you have beauty. Prosperity. And the cardstock is really good. I think it's different. It's a, it's a different Blue Angel cardstock. Um, it's, it's thicker. It's more matte. Which I kind of like. Oh, not kind of like. I actually love it. Wisdom. Romance. Now I'm just going to be cutting the deck and just showing you a couple more cards. Joy. As I do will, so may it be, let joy and light radiate from me. I think these would be really good to just kind of have, um, like, a picture of, like, on the Azure lock screen on your phone or something, just to kind of help you chant it through the day. Grace, blessing, come to me, come to, come to me and set me free. Inspiration. Oh, I love Isis. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. I love this one because I have a phoenix tattoo. I weave and clear, I cast, I know, magic secrets to me now show. So this might be a deck that actually kind of, if you're new to witchcraft, um, it might be kind of a, a deck that helps you, I would, I would assume. Um, it's an oracle deck, obviously it's not a tarot deck, so... Um, Oracle Dice really just go off of your intuition. Um, these cards do seem like they were made with the intention to help you cast spells. Um, I asked a question on my Facebook page about how people feel on, um, like, not necessarily doing the spells as, you know, they're written in the book. Because sometimes I don't have, like, bergamot oil beside me. You know, it's not something I just, like, oh, I have, let me get this. You know, I don't have an herb cabinet. Like, I don't, you know, I have a cat, too, so I have to be mindful of the stuff that she gets into. She's not going to, you know, she's not going to die or anything. So it's kind of difficult sometimes to, to have all this. So, um, the, consensus seemed, the consensus seemed to be to just use your intuition with the spells. You know, you don't have to go too crazy. Um, a, light of a light inside my fire divine energy fill me, make me shine. And I'm going to show you one more card, and then I'm going to draw a card for us, and we're going to see what we get. Authenticity is the last card I'm showing you. Who I am is good indeed. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. It's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to draw. Oh, my God, these cards are going to shuffle so well. Oh, yes. Ah, it just feels so good to shuffle these cards. All right, so what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? All right, so we have card number 33, creativity. By all above and all below, let me connect. Let creativity flow. So right there, you can screenshot that. But that's it. So yeah, that was a walkthrough of the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, um, published by Blue Angel Publishing. They will be out in the U.S. in, I want to say, September, but you can get them on Blue Angel's website. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's Australian prices, and if you're in the U.S., you actually get it cheaper for what the website says. So, But, yeah, so I hope that you guys liked it. If you would like to work with me and you would like for me to use this deck in a reading with you, then you can just click the link below. And or go to my website at tarotangel444.com, click readings, and then we can hang out over Skype. I can send you an email, whatever you like. If you feel called to me, there are options for everybody. So I hope you have a wonderful night. Love and light. Bye, guys.